Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin's occasion series in MATLAB tutorials on YouTube. Today we'll be looking at homogeneous equations and homogeneous coordinates. And just to say that IP does not, it's not mine, it belongs to Mike on MATLAB graphics and it's available on this site. I took Mike's code, I added a fair few comments and hopefully between Mike's uh, blog here and my own, We'll be able to explain a little better. So we have the code here. And just to say in advance, the graphic on the right doesn't exactly match the right piece of code. So let's scroll down here a bit. So things are much simpler. What I mean by things, computer graphics are much simpler using homogeneous coordinates especially translation. You can do rotation and scale using non-homogeneous coordinates, but and you can do translation as well, but it's very awkward. But really, if you're doing any, you know, uh, decent stuff, sorry for the slight pause there, homogeneous coordinates is the way to go. And there's another little bit from Wikipedia there. Just scroll down here a little bit. See there, homogeneous coordinates, wide, wide range of applications, computer graphics, 3D computer vision, and projective transformation. So whether you're a geospatial scientist or you're doing CGI, anywhere between those two extremes, it's homogeneous coordinates. So we tidy up as before. And delete GCA is to delete the current MATLAB's graphics primitive. There's the, the first two rows are the data points, and then the third row is to make everything in homogeneous format. Uh, the x limit and the y limit of the graph is minus 4 to plus 4, minus 4 to plus 4, and that color there. 30% red, 75% green, and 93% blue gives us that color blue on the right. And I just plotted the data there. Now I'll explain this in one second. It may consider it trivial because all the points in row three are one. So all the points in row one divided by all the points in row three will just give you all the points in row one. The values will be changed, but it's just good practice. So we have the original shape there. See there, to turn the point in Euclidean, back into the Euclidean, we divide by W, where W is the third coordinate. Now that's for 2D. See it there, See, we're dividing by W. And if you're in 3D, you have XYZ and you divide XYZ by W, which would be the homogeneous form format. We're going to do a little rotation here. I'm rotating by pi over 5. Okay, so we're rotating by pi over 5. And light blue is the original yellow mustard, it's like that. There's a bit of clipping going on here. Why? Because remember, we're using the x limits before of minus 4 to plus 4 in the x and minus 4 to plus 4 in the y. I should have made it in the y minus 4, say, to plus 6, and when we got the clipping. But I hope that's OK. If you're looking at this, you should be familiar enough with that. And just go back here a little bit. So we've done the rotation, that's just there. The pi over five. Now we're scaling, same as before, in the x direction a half, the y direction a half, and then to make the hammer's genius at zero, zero, one. That'd be the original point. And then we divide 
So that's the homogeneous format of the scaling. And then we divide all the points in row one by all the points in row three. It's there. Sorry, lift the line out. There's P2. That's the transformation there. It's the uh, scaling by the points. Get it back into Euclidean there. Get it back to Euclidean there. And there you are, and there we have it back in Euclidean and we do the scale. We're going to reflect about the y-axis. So there we are. The x is the same and the y values are just flipped by making it minus y. And then in homogeneous format, 0, 0, 1 there and 0, 0, 1 there. Carry out the transformation back into Euclidean again. Divide by the third row for the x data, divide by the third row for the y data. And there we have reflect about the y. Now we're going to translate here. We have the identity matrix. And then in this column here, this is the delta x. That's the delta y. So x, we're moving one and a half positive units. And for the y, we're going down two units. You can see there, the blue goes out one and a half and comes down uh, two. Carry out the transformation. Go back to the Euclidean there. Put a title on it. And now, finally, we're going to do a rotation and translation. So we have, remember, we have up above, we have the uh, translation. There's the matrix for the rotation, which is up above. By the points in the homogeneous format. Get them back to Euclidean for the X. Get them back into the Euclidean for the Y. Okay, I hope between myself and Mike, we've given you some idea of how to do homogeneous transformations.